All right, well, hello everyone. My name is Amy and I'm an educator here at the California Academy of Sciences. And we're gonna spend some time together today learning all about penguins. I love penguins. I think they're super fun. Has, have any of you ever seen a penguin before? I'm seeing some hands up. Great, oh, I'm so glad. So when you've seen penguins, whether it's, I don't know, on TV or in a movie or in a book or something like that, where are penguins usually found? Are they someplace warm? No, I'm seeing some shakes of the head. All right, are they someplace cold? Seeing some nods, usually someplace cold. Yeah, I've seen some movies and some TV shows where there's a lot of penguins on the ice. Like they live on the ice, which just, that just sounds way too cold for me. But we're gonna learn a lot about penguins today. And these are special penguins that don't live where it's cold. These are special penguins that actually live in South Africa. So we'll learn a little bit more about them. But before we dive into that and learn about uh, South African penguins in particular, let's just talk about what kind of animals they are. Let's start with the basics. So let's see, are penguins fish? Are they, what else could they be? Are they birds? Are they mammals? So if you think they're a fish, give me a one. If you think they're a bird, give me a two. If you think they're a mammal, give me a three. Oh, I'm the only one that thinks they're a mammal. Okay, well, that's, all right, maybe it's birds. You guys all think they're birds. Everybody thinks they're birds. Okay, all right, well then let's go with birds. So there are some special things about birds, right? So, um, and you all help me, um, I think, you all will be able to help me figure out what the special things are about birds. So who has an idea? What is something special about birds? Uh, Sophia, it looks like you have, know something about birds. Tell us something neat about birds. They make nests. They make nests, they do. Lots of them do make nests. All right, Jayla, what else is something neat about birds? They fly. They, yeah, a lot of them fly. A lot of them do. Not all of them, though, do. Who else? Oh, Charlotte, you've got something. They have feathers. They have feathers. They absolutely, all of them have feathers. Kai, what do you think? What's special about birds? They can fly to another ice floaty. They could, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything else special about birds? So we talked about feathers. We talked about, did anybody say eggs? Nobody said eggs no. yet? All right, John, what did you want to say? They have wings and they can lay eggs. They have wings and they lay eggs, absolutely. And then Sophia, did you have something? Um, penguins cannot fly. That is true, that is true. There are several uh, birds that can't fly, but a lot of them can. So um, so birds, all birds, there's four things about birds and you all covered most of those. So actually you covered all of those. There's four things about birds that are very special. So they all have beaks. So we're gonna put a beak up. Nicely done, I'm seeing some great beaks there. All right, and they all lay eggs. So make an egg. And they all have wings. So give yourself some wings. And they all have feathers, so we're gonna ruffle our feathers. All right, ready, we're gonna do this quick. So we've got beaks, they lay eggs, they've got wings, and they ruffle their feathers. And they got beaks, and they lay eggs, and they've got wings, and they ruffle their feathers. Should we do it again? Beaks, eggs, wings, ruffle those feathers. Beaks, eggs, wings, ruffle the feathers. All right, nicely done. Now we'll all remember what is special about birds. But like you were saying, I think, Sophia, you had something special that penguins are even more special than just, just regular birds. So penguins, they don't have uh, wings to fly. They have wings for other things. So we'll talk more about special penguins. And to do that, we're gonna need four volunteers. So I'm looking forward to having all of your help because I can't do all this myself. So. Penguins have these special um, adaptations and um, an adaptation is something special about the way that they live and helps them survive wherever they call home. So it's something about their body or the way they do their live their life. So I think Kai is going to help us first. Uh, you're going to read our first um, letter here. So we've got letter N and Kai is going to do a great job of reading this for us. 
actual swimmers and use their wings like flippers to move through the water. Thank you, Koi and Mindy. That was great. All right, yes. So um, penguins are absolutely natural swimmers. So they use their wings instead of flying. They actually use them as paddles and, and to swim really, really fast in the ocean. And did you know, um, well, let me see if anybody knows this. All right, so do you think penguins swim faster or do you think Olympic athletes swim faster? So raise your hand if you think penguins swim faster. Oh, I've got some hands up. All right, who thinks Olympic athletes swim faster? Oh, no, you're, yeah, your eye was very, I was very surprised by this, but you're absolutely right. Penguins swim much faster than Olympic athletes. So penguins can actually swim at 12 miles per hour, where an Olympic gold medalist can only swim for five miles an hour. Can you imagine swimming twice as fast, over twice as fast an Olympic swimmer? That is just crazy. I just think that that is amazing. So why do you think penguins have to swim so fast? Hmm. So think about that. What do they do in the water? Why would they have to swim so fast? Does anybody have an idea? Kaliana, do you want to share what your idea is for why they swim so fast? Nope. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Does anybody else have an idea as why um, penguins need to swim so fast? Kai, yeah. yeah. You got that arm right. No, Wait, Kai. I mean, I mean, oh, Kai would like, just wanted to say the word N, the letter N real quick. Oh, great. So say it for me. N. Very good. Nice job. All right. So does I know why? Um, I think I know why penguins swim so fast. John, did you have an idea? You were kind of lagging. What was the question? I'm wondering if you have any ideas as to why penguins swim so fast. OK, well, one reason is because they need to get food. Yeah, in the water. Absolutely. So they live near the water, in the water, and they have to swim really, really fast to catch those fish. Otherwise, they'd, ha they'd go be very, very hungry. And another thing that's very special about how they swim is they can deep um, dive. So they can dive really, really deeply. So they can actually dive over 400 feet down deep into the ocean. So that's like um, down as far as the Statue of Liberty. So if you put the Statue of Liberty in the ocean, they'd be able to dive all the way down to the bottom of the Statue of Liberty. And they can stay underwater for two minutes. There's no way I can hold my breath for two minutes, but penguins can when they're swimming in the ocean really fast to catch their food. Nice job, everyone. Thanks for helping me talk about penguins and how they're natural swimmers. All right, so I need another volunteer. We're going to... Um, read another um, sentence about them. So this is letter I, and I think Charlotte's gonna help us. Charlotte, are you there and can help us read this? I, I is for insulation. Penguins use their feathers for insulation to stay warm in the cold ocean water. Um, yeah, so penguins, they do live in the ocean and some live where it's icy. We talked about that. So if we're talking about African penguins, what do you think it's like in their ocean? Do you think it's cold like our ocean here in San Francisco or do you think it's really warm as if they were in Hawaii? Any ideas? Do you think it's cold or hot? So thumbs up if it's cold and thumbs down if it's hot in the water. So I've got a couple down, so cold, oh, no, nope. couple in the middle, a couple hot, a couple colds. I don't even remember where my thumb was supposed to be. But yeah, so um, the water in, in, in Africa and in South Africa is actually very similar to the water temperature here in San Francisco. So I don't know if anyone's been in the ocean recently, but it's pretty cold. It's like in the 50s, but it's not as cold as if we were in Antarctica. But I know that when people swim out here, they have to wear a wetsuit and they have to put something special on. Otherwise, they get really, really cold. So penguins, they have special insulation that helps them stay warm in that cold water. And that what their insulation is, is their feathers. And they have lots and lots of feathers. Um, so everybody stick your um, fingers together. So your pointer finger and your thumb and make a circle. So if you can picture this. 
a penguin inside that little that little amount that little hole has 70 feathers in that little teeny tiny spot and then so if you compare that you put that all over your body and you're covered with feathers that's a lot of feathers and so that's what that penguin uses to keep themselves nice and warm now if you can imagine having that many feathers and making needing those to stay warm you'd have to take very very good care of them so one of the things that penguins do is actually every year they have to get rid of their feathers. So just like all of you, maybe get some new clothes or a new jacket when you grow out of it and it's time to get a new one or it gets holes in it. The same thing with penguins. So if they um, every year they lose all of their feathers all at one time and then they grow their feathers back and that way those feathers stay nice and um, um, healthy and it keeps them nice and warm in the water. Um, that sounds really uncomfortable to me, but um, <laughs> penguins, it keeps them nice and safe. Another way that they keep themselves um, healthy and safe in that water is they preen. You may have seen other birds preening where they take their bill and they they use it to, to, to um, fix their feathers when they get out of place or clean their feathers. Well, penguins do the same thing. So they take their beak and they take some oil off near their tail and then they use that oil and they spread it over their feathers and that adds a waterproof layer too so it keeps them warm when they're in the water all right are we ready for our next volunteer and our next letter so i think um our next letter is w and our next volunteer is john okay w w is for white White and black feathers help penguins hide in the ocean. Thanks, John. Yeah. So penguins, um, so think in your head. So all of you, I think, said that you'd seen them. So think in your head. So what do they look like? They've got black feathers and white feathers. So is this what our penguin looks like? Does it have black on the back and white on the front, maybe? Does this look about right? Oh, someone else has a penguin. Yeah, so what this special coloring is called is counter shading, and it helps them hide when they're in the ocean. So picture a penguin swimming in the ocean, and you've got a predator, somebody underneath. This white coloring, when they're looking up, blends into the sky above the ocean. And the same is true, so if they're down, and they're swimming down below, so that 400 feet down in the ocean, and there's a predator above them, that predator looks down and what they see is this black back and it blends in with the dark ocean below them. And this different colored of feathers, this different colored shading is called counter shading. Anybody ever seen this in another animal? Any other counter shading that you've ever seen? Seagulls. Seagulls, yeah. John, you have an idea, what else? Sharks. Sharks, yeah, they all use counter shading. Some is to protect themselves from predators and some it's to hide from what they're gonna eat. This is also something special. So this is also called camouflage and a lot of animals use camouflage. So one of the cool things about um, penguins, so they, they can hide really well when they need to, but when they don't wanna hide, they can also stand out and, and communicate that they're around. And they do that through what's called an ecstatic display. So they um, make themselves known to all the other penguins. And they do that by sticking their wings out. So everybody stick your wings out. Nice wings, I see lots of good strong wings. And they put their beak up, so stick your beak up. And then you've gotta be really loud. So you gotta say, hee-haw, hee-haw. All right, you ready? Hee-haw, hee-haw. So now you know how to do a penguin ecstatic display. And so if anybody you want to tell anything to, you can do that to them and they will know that you are there to talk and you are there to have a conversation with them. All right, so um, our next letter is G and our next volunteer is Jayla. And we're gonna learn one last um, great adaptation about penguins. G is for great. Penguins are great parents. They feed and protect their young. Nice, yeah, they are. They're really great parents. So um, penguins don't have babies like maybe you um, and your mom and your family, right? So penguins, I think we all talked about, lay eggs like all other birds. And so penguins um, lay these eggs in what we call a nest box or in a territory. And so a male penguin will defend this territory and prepare this territory and the nest box or the nest space for a female and try and encourage the female to come in that nest with him. 
And he does that by offering leaves and bringing other objects inside a nest. And then they defend this territory from other penguins. So it's just like if you had a, for your house, it's your space and uh, you'll defend it. So especially if someone, it's not your friend that's coming over, but maybe someone who wants to take your favorite stuffy or your favorite pillow or something like that and wants to steal your leaves. So what a penguin will do is there's an actual territorial dispute and there's all sorts of um, wonderful ways that they communicate that they are not happy with their neighbor who is coming over to their nest box. So let's do that together. And one of the things that you do is you stick your beak, put your beak on, and then you've got to do an alternating stare. So you're going to look at your neighbor with one eye, and then you're going to look at him with the other eye. So practice this at home if you've got your friend sitting next to you. And then you got to do it again, the other eye, and then the other eye. So you do this alternating stare. And then if your neighbor still doesn't back away and still wants your leaves, then you've got to stick your beak right at them. So stick that beak right at your neighbor. And you're telling them, go away, go away. And if they still don't go away and they still want your leaves, then they actually will peck each other. Now, don't do that at home because that doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> but then if the neighbor does go away and they've decided that they're friends again, then they lower their beak and they'd say, all right, good friend, you're my good neighbor again. So now you can, now you can speak penguin to all of your friends and you can tell them they're good neighbors or they're, they're in your way. All right, nice job, everyone. I think we have learned a whole lot about penguins. So what we're gonna do is we are going to work together and we're gonna stick these four letters together and see if we can figure out what it spells. All right, so here's our first one, N-I-W-G. So this is how we read them today. Does this spell anything? I don't think so. I don't think this is a real word. All right. How about this one? Does this one spell anything? If anyone sees a real word, speak up. I don't know about this one. All right, how about this one? Go win. Mm, that one doesn't look quite right either. All right, how about this last one? I think there's room, oh, how about that one? Does that one spell anything? Oh, I'm seeing some thumbs up, great. Yeah, so wings, penguins have wings, which we've talked about, and they use them to swim really, really fast. They're very, very important for penguins. So I wanna thank all of you and your great teamwork for helping me uh, learn about penguins and to teach about penguins. And I really wanna congratulate all of you who did a really great job. If you would like to learn more about penguins, then you can go on the Cal Academy website. It's calacademy.org and there's penguin webcams and you can watch them swim around in their tank and you can learn all about them. There's videos about them getting you know, vet checks and checkups and all that sort of stuff. So thank you very, very much and have a great day.